welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Hello if you are new. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today I've been shopping. I've been to, sorry, I thought there's somebody at the door, there's not. I've been to um, the local market, which has gone up in price. I've been to Aldi, and I don't think I've got very much for my money. It's the way it's going at the moment. So I'm gonna concentrate on making more and more and more from home with what I have in the cupboards and what we already have. Um, it's very hot outside, so. A bit sweaty, a bit warm. It's um, humid. We're about to have a thunderstorm, I think. So I want to get this done as quick as I possibly can and then open all the doors because it's noisy outside. My husband's cutting the hedges on his lunch break. So I'm going to show you from the market and then Aldi. And I couldn't get something in Aldi, so I ran next door to Tesco's. So I'll turn around and show you everything now. Oh, uh, so I, I'll tell you what I spent first. Um, I like to do it at the beginning. I spent £22.60 in the market and normally I don't spend more than about £16. That's how I know it's gone up. And I'm not very happy with a couple of items. I spent £64 in Aldi and I spent £10.78 in Tesco's. So what have we got? £64.74, £84, £86.60, £96.60, £97.34, something like that. So I, I feel like it's a lot of money. So um, I'll turn you around and I'll show you what. Okay, so this is the market. I've got two lots of Maris Piper potatoes and they were a pound per bag. And there's about five potatoes, six potatoes in each bag, depending on the size of them. Um, a pack of four baking potatoes, which was a pound. Some carrots, some Lincolnshire new potatoes, some aubergines, which are lovely, and a cucumber, um, some courgettes. Some peppers, I'm not happy with these at all. I didn't see them, they picked them from behind like the counter at the market and they just look terrible and they're, but I'll see what I can do with them. Um, I have got a couple in the fridge, which is okay because I want to use the peppers and the courgettes and the aubergines to roast them um, on some couscous for a light tea. Um, I'm just gonna go through what I'm going to make with everything, what we're going to have with meals as I walk through the shopping today because I'm not sure what I'm going to do on each day. So we're going to have Mediterranean, roasted Mediterranean veg with couscous one day. Potatoes are for a little dinner. New potatoes are, will just be as a side and we'll have jacket potatoes on Monday probably. Carrots for the dinner as well and I put, I'll put i put them in a curry that I'm going to make as well. Red onions and I'll roast some of these to go with the veg too. Some uh, cherries, they look quite nice. They look really nice. Um, a cauliflower, some baby leaf lettuce they didn't have any little gems or anything they said they're struggling to get them some tender stem broccoli and some cherry tomatoes and some normal tomatoes there and two spring onions and that is my 22 pounds 60. yep so it's, uh, it's the cost of everything has been passed along now isn't it and then we've got aldi so I've got a small box of Coke. I think that was £4.19. And that's the same in Tesco's as well. However, Tesco's are doing two for £7, which I didn't realise. But Tesco's big boxes of 30 are only £7.99 at the moment. Um, I didn't know I was going to go into Tesco's. They are next door to each other, but it was just for quickness. So in hindsight, I should have bought the big box. Never mind. Some Aldi straight cut chips. Just the regular ones. If you have an air fryer, these cook beautifully in the air fryer. Really, really well. And I know they're frozen, but I have a gas oven. So using the air fryer is a lot cheaper for me if I want to make chips quickly for everybody. And some hula hoops, snap pots. They had the little mini tins as well, but I don't like the taste of them when they come out of the tin. I can They taste metallic to me. So I've bought these ones and I'll put these in the recycling. And um, they're perfect for my little girl for spaghetti on toast because she doesn't like beans on toast if we're doing it for lunch. And then I'll eat whatever's left over. Um, some strawberries, I'm going to make some brownies, so I'm going to put those with the strawberries. Just some of these chocolate fudge brownies for the children. I think they were a pound and there's only five or one twenty or something, but never mind. It's a treat for them. Some ketchup, uh, reduced sugar and salt because we're running out. Um, Quixo, uh, for make some stuffing balls to go with the little dinner I'm going to make. I've bought some chicken breast fillets and I'm going to make chicken goujons in the air fryer from scratch, I made them the other day and my husband loved them and the little girl tried them, so I'm gonna make some for the whole family. Well, for Isaac, Stee and Aeris, uh, because I don't eat meat. And then a ribeye steak for Stee, I'm gonna make him a steak one day and that as well, um, I'm going to do in the air fryer. 
and some nectarines because they're in season and they were 79p and then we've got some beans i've got haricot bellotti black eyed and some chickpeas the bean the three tins of beans i want to make some sort of mixed bean burger or patty and the chickpeas um i'm going to make um falafels i love falafels i'm gonna have falafel wraps cocoa powder for some brownies and sliced brioche for um french toast I'll be making french toast for the children and they love it and then i've got some more salad i've got watercress spinach and rocket that was it just yes it is and some rocket just for in the wraps and on the sides of everything lots of greens for us some sweet corn we're going to have a barbecue tomorrow with my in-laws if the rain stays off tomorrow and they're bringing the sausages and burgers and i'm providing everything else um and some parsnips to go with our dinner some romaine lettuce to put into the burgers some tomato and basil pasta for a side or for my lunch it needs eating today i think if that's the right date for today you know i don't even know what date it is and yes it is it's today <laughs> so i'm going to have that for lunch some instant noodles for the children for snacks they've been so hungry at the moment i think they want to grow again um like a growth spurt so some beautifully buttery buttery just for sandwiches and then we've got some olives for steve as a side for a snack i'm gonna let the children try them because they haven't tried olives before and um, some baby button mushrooms to go with the steak and some regular mushrooms to go in a curry some of this mezzalune sun-dried tomato and mozzarella um, for a soup or a pasta bake and then these protein puddings these were a pound each but um for C and I, i'm going to try them mostly for me um just make sure i'm getting enough protein and then some toffee yogurts for isaac because he's been having them at school for his pudding and he calls it the delicious toffee yogurts so hopefully he'll like those some salt and vinegar crisps i definitely picked up salt and vinegar this time if you saw the last video i was very disappointed they were cheese and onion um cheese bakes Ares loves these uh little anything that's a little cracker some monster claws or like monster munch dupes for the children some chews for them it's a treat and um, some treats some double cream for the pasta bake or soup whichever i decide to do chocolate for the brownies some uh, lancashire crumbly cheese for on salads instead of feta i'll just crumble it on top eggs for the brownies and the french toast some gorilla glue and um, our bench outside got a piece that's come off it our wooden bench so hopefully that'll help fix it and we've got some little uh, cheese snacks for the children um, some bread as a side i've got some chicken drumsticks in the um free fridge and i'm going to make those up for the children and stee and um serve it with some of this bread then we've got some cheddar for the pasta bake and some mozzarella and i'll probably do a pizza as well for seeing the children i've got some pizza sauce in the uh freezer and then honey roast ham and for sandwiches for the children and stee kinder chocolate as a treat this was a perch impulse buy at the till from tesco's these are from tesco sorry these couple of things um bought us one each they look nice <laughs> and some sun-dried tomatoes for my falafels i've been making spinach and sun-dried tomato falafels and they are delicious so that's tesco's those ones and they were 10 pounds 74 i think and this was 64 pounds from aldi and yeah i mean i've got no pasta in there i've got none of the couscous um I have spices herbs and all of those things i have in the cupboard and flour and baking powder and everything um and i've already got a whole chicken in the fridge um that i'm going to make for a dinner um for stee and the children and i have um burgers in the freezer and i've got bolognese that i've already frozen and curry sauce and everything so those things i didn't have to buy so yeah there is this week's shop and um it just feels expensive I don't really feel like I've bought any super high ticket items to be honest and that's um there's no breakfast cereal here which normally puts the price up there's no coffee I know I've got the chocolate for the um and the glue which would have been a slightly more expensive um I haven't really bought any bread um and all the things that tend to cost a little bit more I've bought cheap cheese yeah there doesn't seem to be any really expensive items Really, when I look at it, there's not that many treats. There's a couple of bits for the children, but I'm going to make some cookies and some brownies for them with what I have. 
So yeah, there we go. So we're going to have roasted vegetables on couscous one day. We're going to have, they're going to have chicken goujons. I'll have falafels. I might do it a separate day. The steak there um, and then salad and a curry and some pasta bake. And I'm going to make a dinner tonight. So there we go. There is uh, my shopping for this week. Thank you for tuning in and watching my video. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one for a Meals of the Week. See you soon. Bye.